coffee break with me. Woo! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. How are you today? Today I'm here with a get ready with me, so prepare to be with me for the next two hours of your life. Okay. Maybe not two hours. Maybe more like an hour and a half. I don't know. For some reason, these get ready with me's just keep getting longer and longer and longer. But what are you gonna do? Anyway, so... I have no idea what I'm gonna do today. The only thing that I know is that I wanna try a secret combination. Well, it's actually not a secret combination. I don't know why I didn't try it before. Anyway, when I get to it, I'll let you know. I'm also gonna use some products that I haven't used before. Some things that I got from the Sephora VIB sale, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I hope you guys are doing well today. Um, let's go ahead and start by hiding this panda face because can we talk about this? Like, before, I used to just get panda eyes. Like, the darkness that you guys see here, it was a little bit lower when um, I had just had my second son. They've slowly faded away. It really depends on how much water I've been drinking. But, they have, get it, they have been getting puffier lately. I don't know if it's just because I'm almost 32 in a couple of weeks. I don't know. But, uh, can't really do much about that, except, like, those cool eye patches and things like that, but that's all a temporary fix, so what are you going to do? Nothing, right? So, hide the panda eyes. I haven't used uh, this pixie one in a hot minute, so we'll go ahead and like break the camera. We'll go ahead, did you guys see that? I totally kicked it. We're going to use this pixie, it's the brightening peach corrector, and of course, like always, mama is never prepared, but that's okay. I'm just going to roll with it. Should I zoom you guys in? If I zoom you guys in, you don't get to enjoy the glory of the reflection of my mirror. Let's see. If you guys hear something vibrate, it's my phone that I have here right next to me. Did you guys know you guys can do custom vibrations on your iPhones? Like, did you hear that? So like, I don't know, like my best friend Samantha, like I did her own little custom vibration. It's like do 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 do. So when I when I hear the do 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 or whatever, I know it's her, or I know it's my mom, or I know it's whoever, you know? I don't know if you guys knew you could do that. You guys are probably like, yes, Danny, that's not news. But, hey, if you didn't know, now you know. So we're going to go in with this one, and I really enjoy this one, but I like to use this one on days where I feel like my skin is a little bit drier than usual. Or um, where my darkness is not as prominent or as dark because even though it's a brightening peach concealer it's not like a salmon concealer you know what I mean like it's not really gonna do too too much with darkness it will brighten up the under eye area it will conceal the darkness a little bit but if it's like out of control panda status it's not gonna do much like a deeper um, salmon shade do you guys ever get like a hair, like a mysterious hair on your face and then you can't, you can't find it? I hate when that happens. So you guys want to know about the secret combination that I never tried? So I was talking to my friend, totally name dropping by the way, shamelessly name dropping. I was talking to my friend Melanie over at Hourglass Cosmetics and she was telling me, she's like, oh my god, we saw that you can't stop talking about the Seamless Stick Foundation. We're so happy you love it, blah, blah, blah. Have you tried it with the um, mineral, with the Veil Mineral Primer? And I was like, no. Why didn't I ever think about that? Because I really like this primer. This is an amazing primer. And so I was like, wait a second. How come I didn't think about that? Hello? Like, it's only the same brand. So she was like, yeah, you have to use, um, try it with the uh, Mineral Veil Primer. You're going to love it. So that's what we're doing today. And since I'm already shamelessly name dropping, it's probably in the best interest of you guys to be following me on Instagram within the next few days, maybe the next couple weeks, because there may be an opportunity where you can get your own chance to try this combo and maybe even the brush you're supposed to use with this foundation. I mean, I'm just saying. I heard that around my birthday, I like to share the birthday presents. <laughs> oh my God, okay. 
Okay, let's leave this uh, primer to kind of hang out a little bit. Break things. You guys know how I like to do it. Here, coffee break with Danny. I like to throw things around, break them. I'm a little bit all over the place. I should have done the primer first, then the panda eye concealer, then the foundation. I brought you guys in closer so you could see this foundation in action because I'm telling you, it's amazing. I'm in the shade Linen, which is like the third lightest or something. I don't, you guys know. You guys know how it works over here with the pale status. So this is what it looks like. It only has a fourth of an ounce, but keep in mind, that it's a foundation that is extremely concentrated, so you don't have to use that much. Like you put on a little bit and then it just blends out and turns into so much more than you think it is. And you're like, I always knew my face was that flawless. No, it hasn't, it's the foundation. <laughs> it's magical because it doesn't look like you're wearing a really, really um, heavy product. It's definitely full coverage but a little bit goes a really long way. Wow, it does work really well with that primer. Look at that, can you guys see? I need to go over my lips a little bit, but I'm wearing a lip balm because my lips are super chapped. So now we're gonna move on to concealer and I've been so good. I haven't used my favorite one in a while, so I'm gonna use it, but I didn't wet my beauty blender. Oh no, what am I gonna do? I wonder if I could use like my finger. I didn't want my, I am so dependent on a stinking beauty blender that when I don't have it, I'm like, oh no, what am I gonna do? And then I do stupid things like try to use it dry. And if you know, if you've ever tried to use a beauty blender dry, you know, it's not, not the same. So what if I use this? Would I totally, should I try? Oh no. Our glass, please don't be watching this video. I wonder if it'll work because it's not, it's actually, hey, look at that. Hey, I should totally pack this in my travel makeup bag and then I don't have to take a beauty blender. Cause you guys know, like when you travel, you take a beauty blender and then it's damp. Either on the way there it's damp or on the way back it's damp and it's kind of yucky. You feel a little gross putting it away. I hate that feeling. Hey, this works. Um, hello, and now I know what I'm gonna be packing. You guys, if you don't wanna buy that really fancy foundation, get the brush. There's literally no brush streaks. I thought, you know, maybe there's no brush streaks because of the viscosity of the foundation since it's so thick. I thought, okay, well, it's thick, so the foundation, uh, so the brush is really good, you know? It, it's easy to, to spread out or to blend out. Um, and then the concealer is loose viscosity, like it's watery, so I was convinced there would be streak marks. Huh. All right, everybody, add this brush to your Christmas wish list. Right now, be like my four-year-old son and say, Mommy, don't worry, I already emailed Santa. Excuse me? Yeah, Mommy, don't worry. I don't need to tell you what I want for Christmas. I already emailed Santa. What does a four-year-old know about emailing Santa? Can we please talk about that? I still remember being little and like fake scribbling on a piece of paper what I wanted for Christmas. You guys, I'm serious. You need to add this brush to your Christmas wish list. Forget the foundation, just add the brush. The brush is miraculous. Okay, so my face looks super powdery because I just set my face off camera using the L'Oreal Loria, Laura Mercier translucent powder, blah, blah, blah. This brush is awesome. I, I noticed that my concealer started to kick up a little bit and I just went whoop, swoop, swoop, and it was fine, like nothing. That's it's crazy. I never thought, you guys, I never thought I would be a brush convert. Like I was literally ride or die beauty blender, but after that, I don't know. I know beauty blender's probably like right now, ugh. We lost another one, but that brush is seriously amazing. Okay, now let's talk about the microblading thing because in a previous video, I said, oh, okay, I'm going to fill in my brows off camera and I'll be right back. And a lot of you were like, whoa, I thought you did microblading so you wouldn't have to do that. Okay, you guys have to remember how my brows looked before microblading. There was no shape, there was no style, there was no pigment, like literally 
it looks like I have brows now, but when I'm doing a full face of makeup, I still like to go in and shade them in a little bit so that they're on even playing fields as all the other makeup on my face. You know what I'm saying? But because most of the time I don't wear makeup, I'm at home with four dogs and two little boys, um, it looks like I have great natural eyebrows. So it's the convenience of not having to do my brows every day. Every day it looks like I have natural brows. On days where I want to do a lot of makeup or glam, obviously I'm gonna make them look like the rest of my face. Does that make sense? So it, I mean, it, it, it's like a template on days like today where I'm gonna do a full face of makeup and then on days where I, um, uh, I'm just home or running errands or, you know, cleaning the house or whatever, it just looks like I have brows. It's so convenient. You guys, if I had to do them every six months, I would totally, I mean, did you see how many times I passed the pencil over? Like three strokes. I always do the bottom. So I go against the bottom or along the bottom. You see? So I go down here. I run it down. I do the tail. And then I do a couple of like swipes up here, like hair like strokes. And then I start about halfway here, and then I go um, towards the tail. After I do that, then I go in with a uh, spoolie. And I prefer the spoolie on the um, Anastasia Brow Wiz, so I just kind of keep it around for the spoolie. I've never seen another spoolie like this one, it's amazing. And I just brush my hair up with the pigment of the pencil to kind of disperse the color. Like that. And then I just go in with my favorite brow gel, which is the boy brow. This one totally replaced my Serenity and Scott. And truth be told, like I ran out of the Serenity and Scott one and then I never replaced it. Do you guys remember that one that I was totally bonkers over? The Serenity and Scott. Look at that crazy eyebrow hair. Did you see that? I'm gonna have to pull it out. The Serenity and Scott eyebrow, uh, eyebrow gel that I'm talking about, it's a... Uh, it almost looks like a metallic brown. So it has like some sparkles in it. And when I would do my brow hair, it would make it look dimensional. Like I have more brows than I actually do. Cause when the light hits it, it sort of has like a glow. I know it sounds totally weird. Like I have glitter brows, but <laughs> it doesn't. It totally was a really, really cool product. But I just ran out and I never ordered it again. And then I fell in love with this one. So you see what I mean? Like I don't, it's not like, oh my God, you got microblading for nothing. No, because on a daily basis, I have brows. On days where I wanna be glam, I just have to do like two additional swipes and some brow gel and then I have like better brows. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. So for eyeshadow primer, I haven't used this one in a while. This is um, the Urban Decay, Primer Potion in Enigma. I think this is the one that um, they partnered up with Gwen Stefani for like this foundation to help uh, women, women's education or something like that. It was like one of those uh, really awesome projects that Wendy from Urban Decay does. They have like this foundation where they help women. I don't know if it's with women in education or women in the workforce, something like that. Um, it's a really nice color. It reminds me so much of uh, Max Painterly, but it's cool because it comes in a uh, in a like tube with an applicator. So usually what I do is I use the applicator um, and then my beauty blender to bump it out. But because I don't have my oh actually. Since I don't have my beauty blender, maybe I could use the brush. Is that too much? Like, I need to, I need to relax on this brush. <laughs> maybe I don't need to relax on this brush. Damn, Gina, this thing works for everything. Is this even, is, is this even a sensible idea to be using a big giant foundation brush? Kind of set it because I'm about to try these new eyeshadows that I've never tried before and I wanna make sure they actually work. So the palette we're gonna be using today is this one. Does it even need a name? 
It doesn't. When I was doing my VIB purchase, my Sephora VIB, like when I was actually pulling the trigger and trying to be modest and just getting some dry shampoo, some texture spray, just, I was trying to be modest, you guys, because like, like seriously, do I need any more makeup? No. I don't know how this managed to sneak into my cart and then it was all over from there. Now I guess we're just gonna have to use it, right? Let's go in with Bay. Oh, come on. Really? I don't know how that word happened. How did that word happen? You know what I mean? Like, that's just one of those words. It should have never happened, like fetch. Fetch never happened. Bay should have never happened. And now it's like on every meme, every social media post. I feel like we haven't talked about anything important in this video today. Usually my get ready with me's are like inspirational or I talk about something important. I don't know. What should we talk about? I feel like today I want to do a halo eye, but I'm not very good at those. So we're going to try our best. You guys know I'll keep it 100 with you guys. I'm not very good at doing makeup, but I like to do it. Like, I enjoy doing it. If it messes up, oh well, that's the whole point, right? We're gonna go in with this color here. Surprise, surprise. It's called Sandalwood. Let's see some of the names in here. Blessed, Bossy, Flamingo, Coco, Maneater, Henna, Sandalwood, Fling. Huh, okay. I see what you're doing, Huda Beauty. I mean, I can't complain on these eyeshadows. They're pretty awesome. And then the ones at the top, a lot of people were a little bit nervous, like they were gonna dry out or what the texture was like. They feel like cream shadows. They feel a little bit like those, uh, what are they called? Oh, I'm drawing a blank. By the way, the brush that I'm using is um, Morphe. M511. A lot of you guys have asked me if uh, I'll do a Morphe review or why I don't talk about Morphe or stuff like that. I like maybe like three of their brushes and I don't like their eyeshadows. So um, I just don't, I don't include it on my channel because you guys know I only use stuff that I like on this channel. And then I think for the halo portion, I'm going to go in with Ooh, this is gonna be tricky. Should I do Man Eater? Is that too red? This color here, is that too red? <gasps> I don't know. How about Bossy? What if I do this one? If I do that one, let's do that. I'll do that and what, what if I use my finger? Don't get sloppy, Danny. Don't get sloppy. Come on, girl. I'm gonna go in with a flat shader. This is a Sigma E55 because my e.l.f. ones are dirty. Seriously, you need to go to Target and buy like 10 of the $1 eyeshadow brushes, which are my favorite. For some reason, they're always dirty. Um, I'm gonna go in with the color Bossy. That's this color here. It's like a deep, I don't know, burgundy. I'm scared that it's gonna ruin my foundation. Shoot. Oh well, thug life, right? Look at that. I knew I should have used my finger. These eyeshadows are really nice. I wonder where they're made. You know how some people are like, oh, they're not made in a good place. They suck. Hmm, I'm pretty sure they were made in um, Italy. But I have to double check the packaging. Are you guys like really good at doing one eye and then you're really bad at doing the other? That's how I am. I don't know if it's because of how I reach over because I'm left-handed or maybe my eyes are crooked. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I always feel like one is so much easier to do than the other. Like, look at what I just did. Screenshot this, you guys. For the days that you're having a bad day, screenshot this and be like, at least my eyeshadow doesn't look like Danny's. <laughs> Okay, so that's that's interesting, huh? The halo portion isn't even in the middle. The heck is, what the heck's going on? I'm gonna go in with a naked blending brush, no product on it whatsoever, and I'm going to run that along the crease 
to blend out any harsh lines. It's actually blending really nicely to be so pigmented. Pigment, pigmented, pigmented. Oh, someone always corrects me, you guys. <laughs> It's blending really nicely, but it's also blending away. Did you see that? Did you see the difference? Huh. It might have been the um, primer that I used. I don't like to do first impressions on my channel anymore because I don't feel like they're fair. It depends so much on like what's underneath, you know? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a blending brush. This is the Coastal Scents uh, sort of something whatever. <laughs> And the color henna, that's this color here, and I'm going to put that on the crease. After I do that, then I'm going to go in and fix the halo that I blended out because I feel like that's going to have to be one of the last steps if I want this look to work out. So you live and you learn. So just take that color henna and pop that into the crease. And when you're done, then we can do the rest. Do you guys get ready with me? Like literally get ready with me? Cause you're watching me get ready, but I always wonder if you guys put this video on while you're getting ready and then we're kind of like getting ready together. Did you guys ever do that when you were like in high school or college? You're like, okay, yeah, we're gonna go out. Let's all get ready. Let's all get together at four or whatever. And um, eat and get ready to go to a party or whatever. I said whatever like 17 times in the last two minutes. So first impression, even though I don't like to do first impression reviews, but first impression on this palette is the eyeshadow quality is really great. They blend really nicely. They're extremely pigmented, <laughs> um, but the packaging is really like cheap, like super, super cheap. I'm surprised at how cheap it is. It's like, you guys hear that? It's like a plastic cover and then the rest is cardboard and it's really thin which I like. I like when palettes are super skinny. You see how little it is? It's like really really thin. It kind of reminds me of like a Z palette. That's kind of what it looks like. This look is not turning out how I envisioned so I'm going to go in with my finger. Whenever I struggle, and this might be a good tip for you guys, whenever I struggle with a look I use my fingers and for some reason that always ends up making it all better. If I'm having issues, I'll just, I'm like, you know what? Screw this. I'm going to use my finger and boom, it like, for some reason it works out. So you know what? I'm going to use my finger. Okay. And now the moment of truth, I'm going to go in with uh, rose gold. That's this color here. I'm going to put that on the center of the lid. So when you put your finger into the shadow, if you push hard, it gives a little bit, but that's kind of what the product looks like. You see, it's like a foiled shadow. And look at the flex. You see, it's not a smooth, creamy shadow. It's like a flecky, like a flecky type shadow. Is flecky even a word? Flecky? You know what I'm saying. I never have to worry if I'm making any sense because you guys totally get me. These are almost exactly like the Stila ones except you don't have to mix them. You know how the Stila um, foil pigments or whatever come in that little pot and you have to apply the, um, the mixing agent or mixing medium that it comes with? These are just as flaky and I'm not doing a very good job at applying them. It's not as smooth as I thought it would. It looks a little crumbly. So if you guys have like um, mature lids or texture on your lids, it might be a product that's not too forgiving. Do you see that? Like how flaky they are? They look almost like scales, like fish scales. That totally doesn't even sound pretty, but I think fish scales are so beautiful. You know how they glisten? So they do give that like glowy, brightened, glittery effect. But they definitely take a little bit of technique. This isn't something that you could just like smack on the lid and be like, all right, let's go. I wonder if you use a flat 
um, synthetic like packing brush if you'll get better results because I am using my finger like a beast you guys know gorilla mode over here huh I don't know should we keep going or should I just leave it alone because I might make it worse I'm always on board to risk it though I'll risk it for you guys let's see what should I do hmm let's take a little bit of this one 24 karat 24 karat magic in the air. Is that even how the song goes? Oh, I love Bruno Mars. If he was like a foot taller, I would totally stalk him. Sorry, Bruno Mars. I can walk over you. How does that look? Did I ruin it? Oh, I totally ruined it. Nice one, Danny. You guys, sometimes you just gotta put the brushes down and walk away. I'm gonna leave this alone. I think that once I add mascara, etc, etc, it'll be better. I think. We're just gonna roll with it. Let me take, I'm gonna take this shader brush, clean it off a little bit. Why am I using a tissue, you savage? Clean it off a little bit and then I'm gonna go in with henna, run that along the lower lash line. I hope this doesn't make me look like I cried for a month. I bet you guys are at home watching this video like, what the frazzle snatch is she doing? Danny, walk away. Walk away now. You guys, when in doubt, wing it out. Let's get some wing liner. I haven't done wing liner in a while, so what I'm gonna do is I'll do some brown wing liner. What? Brown? Heck yeah, I'm gonna do brown. And then I'm also going to take some brown eye pencil and kind of smudge that out with uh, the lower lash line. And now we're gonna do some wing liner. I haven't used this one in forever, so I have to shake it for like an hour. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. <clears throat> Ready for this? Oh, look at that. I already started off wrong. the easiest wing I have ever done in my life. I didn't even need a Q-tip. Huh. High five, you guys. Now let's do the other one. I'm feeling all sorts of extra confident. Let's see. I hope my wings match. Does that match? Okay. I, th I think we're okay. Are we okay? No, this one's like curved up and this one's like got the sad one and I got the happy one. Oh, man. So here's the first. How many of you have ever done your wing liner and that ended up with eyeliner on your face? I mean, it's only normal, right? How does this even happen? Like, how did I get eyeliner on my face? And this is one of those eyeliners that's like, that never comes off. Oh no, I don't have a big spot on my face. Do you see that? Guys, I want to like solve world hunger with this brush. It's so awesome. Look at that. The spot is gone. The heck? Take that same brown pencil and do your tight line. What I'm going to do is apply a light coat of mascara and apply some false lashes, which I haven't done in like a year. You guys, I'm going to put on falsies and I'll be right back. What a difference. A little bit of mascara and eyelashes make, right? Now let's go on to face, or move on to face. I've been dying to use this palette from Smashbox, which is a face palette, like it's all face products. So basically you have a coral row, a berry row, and then a nude row. You have like the deep color, the bright color, and then the highlighter or the illuminating color. Honestly, I probably can't use all of the colors in here because I'm so, my complexion is a little light, so some of these might be a little too intense. But since when does color ever scare me? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the rich bronze color, just the whatever bronzer shade, the only bronzer shade in here, and I'm going to just kind of 
sort of contour a little bit. You guys know how I feel about contouring with bronzer. Like that's what I prefer to do. I don't prefer contour powders. Anything that's like cool tone um, on my skin doesn't look the best. Even though I have neutral undertones, I prefer to use warm products, even warm foundations. I feel like they look a little bit better on me. I don't look, I don't know. I look a little bit more alive. This is a really pretty color. It kind of reminds me of Chocolate Soleil from um, uh, Too Faced. It's a really pretty color and I'm actually, I can blend it out real easy. That's cool. Okay, for blush, which one should I use? Uh, I'm gonna go in with True Flush. I think I'll use that one. So basically we're just focusing on the bottom row. And I don't know if this is gonna be a good option actually because it's a little bit deep. Cross your fingers that I don't just ruin the entire look. It's a pretty color, isn't it? Let's see. That is such a pretty color. You know, it kind of reminds me of Pretty Naked from 100% Pure. It reminds me of that color a lot. It's like a beautiful, um, I don't know, just neutral, mauve type color. Like one of those blushes that you really could just use with any look that you do. Like one of those everyday neutral blushes. Okay, Danny, down, down with the brush. There's a really beautiful highlight shade in here. It's called Highlight Gold, but I've actually been really, really curious to try the Wet n Wild Highlighting Gold Bar. This thing is harder to find than I can't even come up with a ridiculous example because that's how hard it is to find. Um, I think it's like a $3 highlighter from Wet n Wild. It's limited edition for their holiday collection, but it's literally impossible to find. It, it like gets sold out every time it comes back on their website. You can't find it at any drugstores. I mean, let's see if it's, well, actually, uh, it's with good reason. I don't know about you guys, but finding a good highlighter at the drugstore is really hard. I feel like that's a product that the drugstore still hasn't mastered. I know everyone loves In the Cabana from Wet n Wild. You know, there's those, those typical highlighters, but they're not really highlighters like Mary Luminizer highlighters. You know what I mean? Like those really intense, very beautiful, very highlighting highlighters. There aren't many or any really, but this one, they really should make it permanent. Wet and Wild, if you're watching this video, which they're not, this should become permanent. This is awesome. If you guys can find it, you need to get it. It's amazing. And now for lips, I think I'm gonna try this. This little kit, I also got this kit along with this palette because I was like, well, maybe it'll give me a better understanding about the brand. That's how I justify all my purchases. So it's cool because it's a kit, it comes with a lip liner and then two of the liquid um, matte lipsticks, um, which if you wanna get a good idea of if you're gonna like them or not, why get the full size when you can get three products in one for almost the same price, you know? So I thought, hmm, maybe I'll try it. But I don't know if it's too much for today's look because my eyes are already pretty crazy. That's a really pretty color. And they, oh, they smell so good. They smell like coconut. Let's try this color. <gasps> Ooh, both so pretty. I just don't know which one would look better with my eye look. Probably the more berry one, huh? Or the, the mauve. Now let's do the berry one. It also comes with a lip liner, which I think the lip liner's got really great reviews. This one's called uh, Trophy Wife. Should we do it? Let's see, how would it look? Yeah, okay, it's a pretty cool. Okay, so we're gonna do the lip liner. It's called Trophy Wife. Um, and then after that, we'll go in with one of the lip colors. Well, it's official. The lip liner is amazing. I was hoping I wouldn't like it. Oh, and the lip color is also called Trophy Wife. Huh, okay, so we're gonna go in with the lip 
lip color in Trophy Wife as well, the same name. And that is the completed look. What do you guys think? Okay, so maybe we didn't talk about life's deep, important issues during this Get Ready With Me, but I was a little bit too excited with a lot of the new stuff that I tried out. So do not forget to follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. It may be in your best interest within the next few days, maybe the next week or two, to pay attention on my Instagram on things that I may or may not post. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys were interested in checking out the Huda, I think that's how you say it, the Huda Beauty products, the lip products are really cool. I do have sore chap lips right now and it does burn a little bit, like it stings. So I've never had that experience before with liquid matte lipsticks when my lips are like trying to get dry. You know what I'm saying? Like when your lips are a little, um, when your lips are about to get chapped, how they burn, I've never had the experience where I apply a certain lip color and then it burns more. So I don't know if they have alcohol or anything like that. Maybe that's a thing, but you can tell it's beautiful. It's pigmented. It's comfortable. I mean, I haven't worn them for an extended period of time, so I can't tell you like the wear test or anything of them, but so far so good. Trophy Wife is such a beautiful color. Can we talk about this? It kind of looks like Patina from Stila. Um, and then the highlighter from Wet n Wild, they really need to make this guy permanent. It is beautiful. I'm not usually a fan of gold highlighters. I prefer like the champagne, pearly ones, like almost like the cool tone highlighters. I like those better, but man, this one is like really, really pretty. I really hope Wet n Wild considers making it permanent. The texture is beautiful on those. And then this palette, I actually think this palette would be a great um, gift right now during the holiday season. It's a limited edition Smashbox face palette with three rows of different colors. I really, really liked it. I feel like the bronzer was beautiful. The blush was amazing. Um, anyway, so that is all for this Get Ready With Me. All of the products that I use will be listed and linked in the description box below in case you guys have any questions or were like, wait, what was that? What did she use? What's that Miracle Unicorn brush that I need in my life? You guys, that Hourglass brush? I'm just saying, y'all need to be following me on Instagram. Just saying. And like always, if you guys found this video useful, entertaining, or learned something, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys.